I'm teaching you exactly how to read, and today we are looking at this word. We're going to start by identifying the vowel sounds, because if you can read the vowels, you can read the word. In this word, we have an I, an E, that we are going to learn to identify as a unit, and then this A. Let's start with the I. Typically, when you come to a vowel, you can look at the next two letters. If both of them are consonants, then the vowel that you are on will probably make its short sound. The short sound for I is I. Your mouth is long, wide, and narrow like a grin. I, I as in in or igloo. This ER is a grapheme that says er. You'll see it at the end of a lot of words like mother, father, teacher, painter. It's a suffix, but you will also find it in the middle of words, and it is almost always pronounced er. This A is going to change to the schwa sound for two different reasons. This upside down E is the symbol for what is called schwa. Schwa is the name of a sound. The sound is a very lazy sound. It is made by your jaw in a just hanging position. You're not using any muscles to drop your jaw. That would sound like an Aw. and you're not using any muscles in your tongue either. It's just a very lazy sound. It sounds like uh, uh, the same sound as a short U. And A will change to the schwa sound in several different instances. In this word, it's changing to the schwa sound for two reasons. The first one is when A comes almost to the end of a multi-syllable word and there's a consonant or two after it, then that A is gonna to change to the schwa sound. The second reason is when there is a vowel before a final L, that vowel will always change to the schwa sound. So this A, for two reasons, is going to say a, uh, represented by that upside down E symbol. Let's talk about the rest of the sounds in this word. V is a vibrating sound. It's made by the top teeth going over the bottom lip and it stays there, it vibrates the sound. This S and this C are making the same sound. Here's why. C has two sounds. It will usually make its hard sound, k, but if there is an E, I, or Y after it, then it changes and makes its soft sound, s. So in this case, there is an E, I, or Y after that C, so the C is going to make its soft sound, s, which is the same sound as this S. So this unit is only making one sound. We've identified what these two sounds are. This L is a sustained sound. It's made by your tongue going right behind your top teeth and it stays there. Oh. So all of the sounds in this word are V, I, S, R, A, O. Now we're going to read this word and blend it together by doing what I call pencil reading. You place a dot underneath each sound like we just did. That keeps all of the sounds organized in your brain and you know in what order they come. Then we're going to connect those dots by drawing a line through them. The line represents the sound. There is no stops, breaths, or breaks. It looks like this. Visceral. Visceral. Now, if you can define visceral, please put it in the comments. Also, if you want to join me and my adult reading class in reading about a hundred of these kinds of words, plus a lot of nonsense words that you've never seen before, then I invite you to join me in my adult reading class. That information is in my profile. I also have lots of free YouTube videos for you. Now, let me know, were you able to read visceral with me today? 